So British summertime is once again upon us. And if you look out the door, you can see there's quite a few more lumens bouncing around than there was in the winter. That's also accompanied with a light shower and quite a strong breeze and a, a little chilly, but we're above 10 degrees now. So the quintessential summer, which means it's time to turn my attention to the garden furniture. Embarrassingly, some of the garden furniture has been ignored and left until next year and then next year. And now it's sorely in need of some TLC, tender loving care, which means I've got to sand it back and refinish it. And to do that, I'm going to use this little beaut, the Festool Rotec RO90. At first glance, this sander may not appear to be the best design sander that you've ever cast your eyes upon and you may think it's going to sit really uncomfortable in the hand and going to be of very little use but it's got some surprising tricks up its sleeve which I'm going to share with you by means of a rather beat up looking and dilapidated garden chair. So let's do close up and some stats first before we get into the actual usage of it. The sander itself is quite an elongated body as you can see and balance wise not too bad when you're holding it in the hand but it will not sit by itself on the pad so you need to hold it and keep it flat. The sander's got three basic modes Mode number one is direct drive, where the you cannot slow the pad. The more pressure you put on the sander, the more material it's going to move, and the more electric it's going to pull to keep the motor spinning at the set speed. If you put it into eccentric mode, then the pad will spin freely, and it works in exactly the same way as the ETS 125 and 150, meaning that the more pressure you put on the pad, the more you're going to slow the orbital movement. And that mode is your fine sanding mode. And then you've got your third mode where you push the button down to engage it. And again, that will fix the pad in place and it becomes a the fixed base. So the, the base will literally just vibrate. And normally in that mode, you would swap this base out and install the Delta base that comes with the sander as well, which I'll show you later on. There's a speed setting here hidden at the bottom of the handle. The circular pad is 90 mil in diameter, as per the name, RO90 with a three mil sanding stroke. In fixed mode or direct mode, the speed range is from 260 to 520 revolutions per min and in eccentric mode, fine sanding mode, speed range is 3,500 to 7,000 revolutions per minute. And finally we have the standard 27mm Festool dust extraction port on the back. And that pretty much wraps up the sander. So now let's look at it in operation. So let's just have a look at the chair and the challenges that we've got. There are essentially curves everywhere. We've got curves on the top of the arm, curved there on the inside of the front leg, real tight curve there at the back of the arm, curve this way on the back, curve that way on the back, curve on the top. And we've also got flat surfaces here, there, in there, in there, really difficult to get to places. Curves on the side, sorry, flats on the side, fronts of the legs. So we've got pretty much loads of angles, loads of curves and flat spaces that we need to get to and sand to make sure it will take the finish. And I'm gonna attempt to do as much as possible of this chair with just this sander. So I'm gonna start by putting the sander in the fixed mode, direct drive mode. And I'm going to put it on a fresh piece of 120 Reuben 2 Festool's own paper that I've got for this sander. And you'll know I'm also using the dust bag, not a dust extractor. And the reason for that is that I just find the dust extraction hose just drags down the end of the sander that bit much and makes it 
a little bit more difficult to use on such a form as the chair is. The with it in direct drive mode, it allows me to keep variable pressure on the sander, less when I'm on um, one of the rounds where I've got less contact between the pad and the chair itself. So I want less pressure on that point so I don't cause a flat spot. But it also means that the rotation of the pad's not going to stop. If I had it in fine sanding mode, a um, little bit too much pressure, especially with that small amount of contact, would allow the rotation to stop. And then I get dig in and the little swirl marks. But you can see the sander is easily coping with removal of the outer layer of timber where it's greyed and the remaining bits of lacquer that are left on it from two maybe three seasons ago. I should also mention that the RO90 is available with two different types of pad. The white pad that I've got on that's the softer pad much more appropriate for any surface that's got delicate edges or rounded corner surfaces edges that you don't want to introduce a flat spot to and then the hard pad which I believe is blue in colour I'll check that which is much more appropriate for dead flat surfaces so that you don't introduce any rounded spots that you don't want so I'm going to continue with the soft pad in fixed direct mode for as much as the chair surfaces that I can up to the point where the sander starts to grab or it starts to rip the paper or I think I might introduce some flat spots as mentioned earlier at which point I'll switch it into one of the other modes So it's all but all of the chair sanded using fixed mode, direct drive mode, and it's taken it down really, really well and really quite quickly. I'm now going to switch it into eccentric mode so that I don't have the direct drive engaged and that way it's going to be a lot more gentle when I do the very top of the chair and some of the slightly more awkward to get to places because as I mentioned earlier in the eccentric mode if I push too hard it's just gonna stop it and it's not gonna dig in and cause so much damage to the chair and last but not least I'm gonna switch it into Delta mode and swap out the base and with the delta pad as I'm sure you're aware you can get into far more nooks and crannies really into the tight corners which I think is the thing that makes this sander a cut above the rest Now that all the main sanding's done, I'm going to go back to the circular pad in eccentric mode with 1 8 grit paper and just give it a once over to get it nice and smooth, ready for the finish. So, Festool's Rotec RO90. A bizarre looking sander and probably one that you're just going to walk straight past to begin with but 
really worth a second look. At the time of recording this video, it's on sale for just shy of £570, which is not a small amount of money by anyone's standards. But you are getting a sounder capable of four different modes, as Festool market it. The direct drive mode, which is just going to eat the material. The fine polishing mode, which is the eccentric mode. For fine sanding, then you've got the delta pad to get into those tight nooks and crannies. And finally, the only one I haven't shown you is polishing mode. And they also sell a dedicated polishing pad to go with the sander. I've gone from hating it and thinking that I've wasted my money to absolutely loving its versatility. And as demonstrated, the entire chair with one sander. It may well be worth a second look, even with the price tag it's got on it. Hope this was of use to you and that you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider a thumbs up and maybe even a subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Ta-ra.